So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your cryptocurrency and NFT wallet on Ethereum, the blockchain where most NFTs are bought and sold. So the most widely used cryptocurrency wallet for interacting on Ethereum is called Metamask, and it works as a browser extension. So you can download it for Google Chrome, Firefox, Brave, or Microsoft Edge. All of these browsers work fine with it. For this demo, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. And the wallet itself is totally free. You just need to go to metamask.io then hit download and then install MetaMask for Chrome. This will take you to the Chrome web store where you can add MetaMask as a browser extension. You can see there it's got lots of good ratings and it's used by over 10 million people. So once you've added it as a browser extension, you'll see the Fox logo, which is MetaMask logo uh, in the top corner of your browser. You might wanna click on that and just hit the pin icon. That will mean it pins it uh, to the top right of your page so it's easy to find at any time. Next, you'll need to press get started and then create new wallet. You can decide whether you want to send them analytics or not, up to you. Uh, and then after that, you'll be prompted to create your password. So this is your password for access to your cryptocurrency wallet on your local device. So your current laptop or computer that you're using to sign up and create the wallet. So just make sure it's a strong password as you would with anything else online. On the next page, you'll be given a set of 12 words which act as your private key. So you can think of this as your master password to all your digital assets. So you can use this set of 12 words to restore your wallet on any device uh, if you were to forget your password. However, if anyone else had access to your 12 words, they could also do the same. Restore your wallet on a different device and they would have access to all your digital assets and NFTs. So it goes without saying to write these 12 words down and keep them somewhere really safe, offline and not on your computer. So somewhere where they're not connected to the internet. Uh, no one will ever need to know your 12 words apart from you. So if you were to ever get asked for them, um, it's like a scam. Uh, you never need to give out your 12 words. They are super important. And as long as you keep them safe, then your cryptocurrency wallet is also completely secure. Then to check that you did actually write them down somewhere, MetaMask will prompt you on the next page to re-enter the words in the order that they gave them to you. Uh, so that's really important. When you write them down, they need to be in that order as well. Uh, once uh, you've re-entered them, then your wallet is created and uh, you are ready to start interacting uh, with Ethereum and NFTs. And you might notice that your wallet will be displayed in the browser or it also acts as a browser extension so you can click that a fox in the top right corner and you'll notice it drop down in the right it's the same thing uh, just different ways of using it so in the wallet itself, you'll see a few different things. You've got the assets tab, uh, currently zero ether in there, the currency of Ethereum. There's also the activity tab, uh, and then the buy, send, and swap functions as well. And at the top is your public wallet address. So it's a string of letters and numbers. If you click it, it will copy um, that uh, address. And that can be thought of kind of as uh, similar to your email address. So it's fine to share that publicly. Uh, you use that to receive funds or NFTs. So at this point, you probably want to get some email Ether, the currency of the Ethereum network, into your wallet so you can begin using it and potentially buying and selling NFTs. So there are a few different ways to do this. Uh, you can buy it directly inside MetaMask. So if you press buy, it will give you a few different options, one being wire, so you can buy with a debit card. Uh, there might be some uh, fees attached to do it that way. Another popular way is to buy um, Ether through a cryptocurrency exchange. So there's lots of different exchanges. Uh, two popular and well-regarded ones are Coinbase com and binance.com so you'll just need to sign up to their services uh, and then either do a bank transfer in your local currency and convert it to ether or you can buy it directly using a debit or credit card so once you've got some ether in your cryptocurrency exchange wallet you need to then send that to your metamask wallet which you just created so to do that uh, navigate back to your uh, metamask wallet click that public address uh, which will copy it that's your address to receive funds paste that into the send section from the cryptocurrency exchange and you'll be sending that ether from the exchange to your MetaMask wallet. There will likely be a small transaction fee to do this. This is called the gas fee and it acts a little bit like a tax which pays the miners who are keeping the network secure. And it's sometimes a good idea to test the transaction with a small amount uh, of ether first, check it arrives in your MetaMask wallet and then send the rest of your funds when you're happy you understand the process. After a few moments, you'll notice your ether arrive into your MetaMask wallet and the balance will change. Now, it's important to say at this stage that you should only use MetaMask to interact with Ethereum-based uh, currencies and NFTs. There are other blockchains, Bitcoin being one example, uh, and they don't interact with each other. So you wouldn't want to send Bitcoin to your MetaMask Ethereum wallet because uh, it would be lost. 
So I like that you'd be in that situation, but probably worth mentioning. So now with your funds in your wallet, you can do whatever you like with them, uh, potentially buy your first NFT. Uh, so that will usually happen either on a dedicated website if the project is launching the NFT collection for the first time, uh, or you can also buy NFTs from secondary marketplaces somewhere like OpenSea. So to do that, you'd go to OpenSea.io, uh, browse and find the NFT you'd like to buy, uh, and then click buy now or make an offer. Uh, when you do that, you'll notice that your browser extension automatically kind of kicks into gear. Uh, it might ask you to um, sign a transaction with OpenSea to allow your wallet to interact. And then it will give you kind of a quote for the uh, price of the transaction fee and buying your NFT. Now, in this example, the network's very busy, so the transaction fee is quite high. I wouldn't buy it at this time. I'd probably wait until the network is a little bit quieter and that gas fee will get cheaper. We are in the very early days of this technology, the sort of dial-up modem era of NFTs. So some of these little inconveniences are still being worked out at the moment, uh, but that is how you set up your cryptocurrency wallet with MetaMask, how you credit it with Ether, and how you go ahead to buy your first NFT.